Hey, what's up? It's Jake from Nimbus DevOps. And we've reached a point in this series of Learn Python Programming, the Inside Out approach, um, where we're going to start now taking all the theory of everything we've learned and starting to tackle real world problems. So up to this point, I've been like printing stuff out on the console or maybe just storing things in memory and printing out an ID to represent that, oh, this value has changed or something. But that's not the real world. You're still going to be using memory. We're still going to be, you know, using all the same things. But in the real world, you're going to be working with a number of different uh, mediums, and you're going to have to interact with those mediums programmatically. And this is a lot more difficult than just printing things out on the console. So this is where the rubber meets the road. And what we're going to be doing in this next section is just focusing on files and data persistence. And this is probably one of the most important sections to focus on. So go through it slowly. Um, I recommend just like going to the gym, uh, do this every day. Get, give yourself a little routine or something. Um, because everything up to this point has been very like a didactic, right? So in this section, I'm going to go over files directories, compression, working with networks, streaming data, JSON data, interchange formatting, data persistence with pickle and shelve using the standard library, and data persistence using SQL Alchemy. Um, there will be a balance of how deep I go into all of this with having enough information to be able to use it effectively. Um, and hopefully by the end of this section, you have a solid grasp of the fundamentals and know how to get information that you need from the internet to support and supplement what you're learning here and what you know to be able to do some really cool stuff. So I look forward to doing this. Um, I have no idea what is, I'm going to be covering <laughs> in the rest of this, but I'm going to start with just opening up files and we'll go from there.